Time now for everybody's favorite guessing game, What My Line? Brought to you by New Stopette, America's leading spray deodorant. Now with its anti-immunity factor. Poof! There goes perspiration. Now let's all play What My Line? <laughs> And now let's meet our award-winning What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist, author, and publisher, Mr. Bennett Cerf. Thank you. Well, I'm glad to have a chance tonight to introduce a young lady who often has a job of introducing me. And she's one of the warmest, nicest people in television. Very exclusive, too. She's at home to about 20 million people every morning from <laughs> 11 to 12. Miss Arlene Francis. Very nice, Bennett. I'm going to see that you have an opportunity more often. <laughs> and on my right, one of TV's favorite humorists, Steve Breadbox Allen. <laughs> Thank you, Arlene. And on my right, filling in for our uh, European vacationing Dorothy Kilgallen, is a young lady who, to use the old line, needs no introduction. A great favorite of ours here and of yours everywhere, Miss Margaret Truman. And across the stage from me, our very distinguished moderator, Mr. Daly. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. We're up to our old tricks again because it's Sunday night and it's time for us to act up. And we'll see how well the panel can act up on some challengers who brought some very interesting occupations. We trust the panel has a rough time of it and the challengers a good time of it. We'll also have a famous guest challenger a bit later, but now let's have the experts meet our first challenger whose job has to be spotted. Will you sign in, please, sir? Al Buta. Is that right, sir? Uh, where are you from, Mr. Buta? Uh, Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, Florida. That's right. Ah, so this is just north or south of Miami? North. North. North of Miami. Fine. Well, just a little bit north of me. Look at him. <laughs> Well, they want to see you and want to know you a little better, so would you go over and let them get a look at you, please? I'd like to shake both your hands, Mr. Buda. It was nice, too. Thank you. Good evening. All right, Mr. Buda, come over here now, if you will, and sit down next to me. And at this point, you may know this, the uh, panel gets one free guess as to what your line may be. And tonight, we will begin all the free guesses with Miss Margaret Truman. Um, I think he trains alligators. Trains alligators, Mr. Allen. I think he works for the racetrack down there. Miss Francis. Mr. Buta is a Buta. <laughs> I think uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Buta manufactures surfboards. Wow, top that, <laughs> Mr. Seth. I think Mr. Buta runs the beach facilities, the Hollywood Beach Hotel down there. No, I'm afraid nobody has it. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mr. Buta. At the same time, they get to find out what it is he does. But the panel's got to work. <laughs> Buda, you know how we score this? You just say good, loud no's, <laughs> and I'll flip the cards one right after another. All right, Mr. Buta, it's salary. Let's begin the general questioning with Steve Allen. <laughs> Not by that time. Huh? Oh, that <laughs> is there a product connect with your work, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, well, since Arlene has brought it up, is it bigger than a bread box? Yes. <laughs> it is? Yes. Is it... Uh, much bigger than a bread box. Is it as big, say, as a human being or something of that yes, sort? Yes, it is. Is it uh, big enough for a human being to get into? Yes. No limit to this thing. <laughs> is it big enough uh, for, say, uh, Arlene and I to get into it together? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it certainly sounds peculiar. Oh, I don't know. No, not us. <laughs> I mean, the thing itself. Is this the kind of a thing that uh, you would not expect to find in the house? Yes. Just, I thought so, but I was just trying to do that. Uh, would you expect to find this at a place like uh, Coney Island or something of that sort? Yes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> And a man and a woman can get into this together. 
Is this the kind of a thing that when you're inside, it's a little bit dark in there, perhaps? Yeah. yeah. Is it the kind of a thing that a young lady would not want to get in with, with a gentleman unless she was quite familiar with him or something like that? Yes. <clears throat> Is it considered kind of... Uh, Romantic for a man and a woman to float around in this... <laughs> No. <laughs> One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. No romance. No? No romance at all. You wouldn't consider it romantic, actually. I think, Arlene, to be completely fair, I should state categorically that you would not consider it romantic to get into this with Steve or any other male. Well, you don't know I me, don't John. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Is this uh, made of wood? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sim. Well, do I gather correctly, Mr. Buda, if we're not being misled as usual by <laughs> our charming master ceremonies, that this is not one of the things that would be part of an amusement park, like a Ferris wheel or carousel. It's not one of those devices that are used in an entertainment park. Yes, it is not. It is not. <laughs> it has a utilitarian purpose, not Yes. Way. Might it also be found in places other than amusement places? Yes. Is it, a, is, is it, has it wheels? No. It's three down, seven to go, Miss Truman. <laughs> it's um, big enough for two people to get into. You can find it anywhere. It doesn't have to be in an amusement park. It doesn't no. It doesn't mean a thing. <laughs> um, well, is it used all the time? Yes. It's not just used for special occasions. Now, wait a minute, don't fall into well, a pit here. You've got an answer already. It's used oh. all the time. What? Oh, I see. What's your step? Um, it's used all the time. Why not if anything else can get in? <laughs> well, is it, you, is it bigger than, than something that would be big enough for two people? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, is it big enough for five people, six people? Yes. Well, does it always stay in contact with the ground? Yes. Um, does this always have to do, this doesn't have to do with people, does it? You mean, is it normal could be, for... Could it have to do with animals? Could it have to do with animals? Uh -huh. No. No, I wouldn't think so. I mean, uh, your question, as it's phrased, would get you a no, and you will understand why later. That makes it four down and six to go, Mr. Allen. That was my fault. I suggested that to Margaret. I'll hate myself for it. So, however, from the way you answered her, am I to gather that there is something other than human life involved if it's not specifically animal? No. That makes it five down and five to go, Miss Francis. Is this useful? Yes. Should everybody have one of these? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think in the way you Sooner asked... Sooner or later. Should, <laughs> I think the way you asked the question, Miss Allen, should everyone have one of these? I'll have to give you a no. That makes it six down and four to I go, I really Mr. meant one Sir. in the family. I... Oh, one in the family? Yeah. Well, even then, I think I'll still have to give you a no. I'm going to give you one more minute. Mr. Beauty, is, this, is there metal in this thing? Yes. Uh, would this be used possibly by a banking institution? No. <laughs> Would it no. be used by a banking well, institution? Yes. It, yes. It could. But it is not a kind of a safe or a vault. Yes, it is not a kind of safe or vault, no. <laughs> uh, it would not be used as a protection against uh, bullets of a burglar or uh, somebody else. No. Like yes, it would not be used as protection against bullets is of it a ever burglar, used, no. Is this u ever used by the armed forces in any way? Yes. It is? <laughs> Would it be uh, would it be used more by one branch of the services than, than another? That time's out. <laughs> time's out. The minute is up, and we're going to throw all the cards on a default basis because we've run out of the, enough time. Mr. Buter designs sewer manholes. <laughs> and now, just so that you'll understand some of the answers, actually, he's currently designing a whole new set for Miami, and he it's designed. Going to be big enough. Steve and me. Yes. I'm, 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 two people get into like a, man, a sewer manhole. The sewer manhole is the whole unit. <laughs> oh, the whole from unit. ground level right down into the ground, they're all different sizes, shapes, and some of them are tremendously big. Most of them are of substantial size. 
Mr. Buter, tell me, and he's the man who knows. And Mr. Buter, you get the full prize, and I hope you had fun. It was nice having you again. Good to see you. All right, Mr. Buter, we can do with another challenger. Will you sign in, please, ma'am? Bridget? Friot, is that right? How are you? We'll be the Mazurka later. Oh. Where are you from, Street? Paris. Is it Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss. Mm -hmm. Paris, Kentucky? No, Paris and France. You know. Paris and France. Well, that's fine. Now, at this point, the panel knows where you come from. They would like to have a closer look at you. Would you just walk down in front of the panel? I just want to see if you can do the can-can, Miss -can, Brown. Would you, would you take a little oh, measure? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Miss Friar, if you come over here now and sit down next to me, at this point, the panel, having had a chance to meet you, gets one free guess as to what your line may be, and we begin the free guesses with Miss Margaret Truman. I think she designs dresses. Designs dresses. Mr. Allen. I think she's a singer. Miss Francis. I think I have to disqualify myself. You know? I think that uh, I know this lady. All right, Miss Francis is disqualified. Mr. Seth. I think she's a professional photographer. A professional photographer, I'm afraid not. But our viewers at home have a further look at Miss Friant. At the same time, we will tell them what her line is. <laughs> All right. And now, Miss Friant, every time you give them a no answer, I flip a card here, and uh, we're off and running. Okay. Ten flips, and you've won the game. Miss Friant is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Bennett Sir. Well, Miss Brian, I'm just trying to figure out how you might have met our Arlene here. Would you have anything whatever to do with the entertainment industry? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Truman. Well, is there a product connected with what you do? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. Are your services, then, I assume you perform service, are they available to women? Yes. Uh, does a woman have to have perhaps more money than she might have if she were working in a menial capacity to avail herself of your services? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Enchanté de vous voir. Ah, pardon moi, pardonnez moi. Oh, I'm Mr. so Smith. happy to see her. This is heaven. Uh, do you do any work in this country, Miss Fiat? No. That makes it four down and six to go, Miss Truman. Um. Comes around pretty fast, doesn't it? <laughs> Too fast, thank you. Do people come to you for these services? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. You go to them, then. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Allen. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Excellent, as far as I'm concerned. Have you ever performed your services for Arlene? <laughs> no. Small conference. No, I have to say not really, John. I must help. Why don't you help me a little bit? Yes. John doesn't need me help. He knows you. the answer. What do you say we just out and out cheat? Come on. <laughs> I'll give the answer because we're, we're running behind and... We've thought this over very carefully. Uh -huh. That's six down and four to go, Mr. Sir. <laughs> Sorry. Mr. <laughs> you, you look like an exceptionally cultured and intelligent person, if I may say so. Uh, have you had some special training for the job that you do? No. None? No, I would say not within the terms of special training as we use it. Not special There education. is certainly a developed skill, a developed talent over a period of time, but there is no graduate work per se, as I have been advised the word should be pronounced. <laughs> per se? Yes. That makes it seven down and three to go, Miss Truman. Do you give advice in any way to people? <laughs> Manner speaking. Speaking. It could be considered on some occasions that Miss Fiona would be, give advice. <laughs> I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, do uh, your services benefit people? Sometimes. Well, uh, do you travel in your work? Or? Yes, I do. Oh, we're traveling someplace. Well, yes, but where are we going? <laughs> um, well, do you... Um, I guess I can't ask a lady if those are working clothes. <laughs> 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 well, 
mean, she doesn't wear, you don't wear a uniform in... No. Uh, small conference. Small uniform. <laughs> He's had a whole course in French by now. <laughs> I would say this, that there might be occasions upon which um, Miss Prion might be considered to be wearing particular garb of one kind or another, but it is not necessary or normal to her general operations. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's all right. <laughs> Just trying to be Where helpful. Are we? <laughs> she travels and she sometimes wears a sort of uniform. And she works only in France. Big pardon? She works only in France. Would you no. like to ask the question, do you work do only... Do you work only in France? No. That makes it eight, down and two to go, Miss Trout. Oh. Did you perform your services for whoever you perform them for in New York? No, I asked no. Oh, you did? Nine down and one to go, <laughs> Mr. Trout. have you anything whatever to do with travel or transportation of some sort? You mean as a basic part of... No, of the... I wish it might be something to do with customs or travel. Something oh, like good. I'm glad you clarified this. That's, no. that's right. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, that's very good. We got it all clarified, and now hang on to your hat. Because Miss Friar is a war correspondent, recently returned from Indochina, into which she jumped with parachute troops, this little slip of a gal. And you should, I think, perhaps know that Arlene recognized the name. I think you've also met her, though, before. I huh? interviewed her on my morning program, and I'm so <laughs> delighted to see her back from her tour of America. And I would like to say that when Steve or Margaret said, you give any advice to anybody, I think the advice that she gave in Indochina must have been, don't shoot. <laughs> <laughs> and Ms. Prior, thank you very thank much, you much for being our guest. I hope you enjoyed yourself. At oh, the <laughs> we come to the special feature of our show, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. We guess that the experts would recognize our guests immediately, so they have their blindfolds. Are they all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we dispense with the usual questioning. The preliminaries get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Bennett Cirk. Well, there was a great burst of applause when you walked in. May I assume that your picture has appeared several times in the newspapers? <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he's I ordering beer. Explain, Bennett, that we are very fearful that <laughs> if you were to hear the voices of our guest, or the voice of our guest, or the various accents of our guest immediately, uh, you would uh, learn too much. So that the answers will come to you by knocks for a little while. Two knocks means yes, one knock means no. You I just got a yes. Well, this is going to be very revealing, isn't it? Uh, are you associated in any way with the entertainment? Uh, I can't tell from that, whether that's a male knock or a female knock. Uh, I'll have to take a guess. Is that a, is that a male knock? No. That's <laughs> one down. One down and nine to go, Miss Truman. We've established that this is a lady knocking. Is that it? <laughs> Um, uh, it's not a male, anyway. Are you, are you in the movies? Yeah. Uh, are you in a picture that is currently on Broadway? <laughs> Wait a minute, I didn't know. Okay, yeah. That yeah. three knocks means we're not sure, but it could be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to have a code tonight. <laughs> um, so you go ahead. Yeah. Well, was that a yes? Well, now three knocks means we're not sure, but it could be. Wait a minute, are you in television? Are you on a show every morning? That's two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. I tell you what I've been wondering.
I think Steve knows something. Omar <laughs> <laughs> well, could be Fred Astaire. Oh, this is not fair. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Gene Krupp is not in town. Is uh, are you an actor? Or, I mean, an actress. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. uh, That's four. <laughs> Wait a minute. You know, that is an awful echo in here. I don't know. Are there two people over there besides John, I mean? Oh, oh. <laughs> Glad to hear that. I thought maybe it was trigger stamping or something. Uh, I tell you what, Steve, I think we've been hard enough on you long enough. I'm going to ask our guests now if they will use their voices instead of knocking and making replies. Uh -huh. Don't answer, George. <laughs> John? Oh, it hurts. I know who it is. <laughs> who is Don't get me, boy. That's Desi and Lucy. I can... <laughs> George and Gracie. George and Gracie, that's right. I think one thing that we've got, was it Bennett was the one that gave us the most fun. You said, Are was you that a, a male? Yeah. And, and the answer before had been given by Gracie. So when you said, is it a male, George went, no, because we were answering well, the that's previous question. that isn't fair, because you should be answering, both of you should be answering every question. So you should have said half a male, which would have put me on the wrong track altogether. <laughs> <laughs> it would have put us all off the track, probably, for a good long time. Well, I must say, George and Gracie, that uh, we've had a lot of fun with Knox. I didn't know you could have so much fun with Knox. Well, thank you. And may I declare myself <laughs> for the panel here. I'm sure it's true that uh, we are to be counted always among your most loyal and, uh, I might say, happiest viewers when you get on television. Well, thank you. And, and may we say the same about your show? It's mm -hmm. just wonderful. Thank you very much. We watch it every Sunday. It's 7.30 in California. Thank you very much. It's grand to see. Would you say good night to the panel? Thank you. Actually, I'm going to give the panel a real test of all time, something less than two minutes to guess it. Will our challenger come out and sign in, please? See how quickly you can work. Jack? Jack Dunham, is that right, sir? <laughs> oh, here we come. New York. Mr. Dunham is from New York. You see him, panel? Good. Come along, Mr. Dunham. Sit you down right here, and panel, Let's see how quickly you can come up with a free guess now that Mr. Dunham is here. Miss Truman. Um, I think he's a politician. Politician, Mr. Allen. Golf pro. Miss Francis. Painter. Mr. Sir. Archaeologist. No, I'm afraid not. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mr. Dunham and we'll tell them what his line is. But the panel's got to be. <laughs> All right, Mr. Dunham, you know how we score. I want to see what they can do in about... 55 seconds flat. Mr. Dunham is salaried. With that, we'll begin the general questioning with Margaret Truman. Um, do you deal in services? Right. Uh, do people come to you? Sometimes. Do you also go to them? Yes. <laughs> um, do you deal with both men and women? Yes. Well, do you give advice of any sort? Sometimes. Hmm. Um, well, does what you do benefit people? Yes, sometimes. <laughs> um, do you travel when you... No. You? No, that's one down and nine to go. Time for about two quick questions. Do you uh, touch people when you work on them? <laughs> sometimes. From the waist up? Sometimes. That does it. We ran out of time. I thought you might just hit this right on the nose, although certainly Mr. Dunham would be a surprise to you. He is a house detective, wins the full prize by default. And thanks for being our guest on What's My Life. Glad to see you. Until next week, this is John Daly saying good night and well done, Miss Margaret Truman.
Thank you very much. Good night, Steve. Good night, Margaret. Good night, boys, and good night, Arlene. Good night, boys, and good night, girls, and good night, cats and dogs. <laughs> good night, Dennis. <laughs> if you miss Dorothy and want to read about her, our father's writing her up this week in the Journal American. Good night, John. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for being with us on What My Life. <laughs> This has been a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. In association with the CBS Television Network. One more minute. Mr. Butte, is, this, is there metal in this thing? Yes. Uh, would this be used possibly by a banking institution? No. <laughs> would it no? be used by a banking well, institution? Yes. It, yes. It could. But it is not a kind of a safe or a vault. Yes, it is not a kind of safe or vault, no. <laughs> uh, it would not be used as a protection against uh, bullets of a burglar or uh, somebody else. No. Like yes, it would not be used as protection against bullets is it of ever a poisoner, no. Is this you, ever used by the armed forces in any way? Yes. It is? <laughs> would it be... Uh, would it be used more by one branch of the services than, than another? Uh, time's out. <laughs> time's out. A minute is up, and we're going to throw all the cards on a default basis because we've run out of the, enough time. Mr. Buter designs sewer manholes. <laughs> not, just so that you'll understand some of the answers, actually, he's currently designing a whole new set for Miami, and he decides... It's going to be big enough for Steve and me. <laughs> Two people get into like a, man, I'm gonna be a in sewer there manhole. The sewer manhole is the whole unit. <laughs> oh, the whole from unit. ground level right down into the ground, they're all different sizes, shapes, and some of them are tremendously big. Most of them are of substantial size. Mr. Buter, tell me, and he's the man who knows, and Mr. Buter, you get the full prize, and I hope you had fun. It was nice having you again. Good to see you. All right, Mr. Buter, we can do it another challenger. Would you sign in, please, ma'am? Bridget? Frio, is that right? How are you? Good evening, Mr. Frio. Thank you. We'll later. Oh. Where are you from, Mr. Frio? Paris. Is it Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss. Mm -hmm. Paris, Kentucky? No, Paris is France, you know. Paris is France. Well, that's fine. Now, at this point, the panel knows where you come from. They would like to have a closer look at you. Would you just walk down in front of the panel? I just want to see if you can do the can-can, Miss Brown. Would you, would you take a little oh, measure? Yeah. <coughs> All right, Miss Brown, if you come over here now and sit down next to me. At this point, the panel, having had a chance to meet you, gets one free guess as to what your line may be. And we begin the free guesses with Miss Margaret Truman. I think she designs dresses. Designs dresses, Mr. Allen. I think she's a singer. Miss Francis. I think I have to disqualify myself. You know? I think that uh, I know this lady. All right, Miss Francis is disqualified. Mr. Seth. I think she's a professional photographer. A professional photographer. I'm afraid not, but our viewers at home have a further look at Miss Friant. At the same time, we will tell them what her line is. Every time you give them a... Bridget? Frio, is that right? How are you? We'll be the Mazurka later. Where are you from, Mr. Frio? Paris. Is it Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss. Mm -hmm. Paris, Kentucky? No, Paris is France, you know. Paris is France. Well, that's fine. Now, at this point, the panel knows where you come from. They would like to have a closer look at you. Would you just walk down in front of the panel? I just want to see if you can do the can-can, Miss Brown. Would you, would you take a little oh, measure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Brown, if you come over here now and sit down next to me. At this point, the panel, having had a chance to meet you, gets one free guess as to what your line may be. And we begin the free guesses with Miss Margaret Truman. I think she designs dresses. Designs dresses, Mr. Allen. I think she's a singer. Miss Francis. I think I have to disqualify myself. You know? I think that uh, I know this lady. All right, Miss Francis is disqualified. Mr. Seth. I she's a professional photographer. A professional photographer. I'm afraid not, but our viewers at home have a further look at Miss Friant. At the same time, we will tell them what her line is.
would be my husband. And now, Miss Field, every time you give them a no answer, I flip a card here, and uh, we're off and running. Ten flips, and you've won the game. Miss Friant is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Bennett Cerf. Well, Miss Friant, I'm just trying to figure out how you might have met our Arlene here. Would you have anything whatever to do with the entertainment industry? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Truman. Well, is there a product connected with what you do? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. Are your services, then, I assume you perform a service, are they available to women? Yes. Uh, does a woman have to have perhaps more money than she might have if she were working in a menial capacity to avail herself of your services? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Enchanté de vous voir. Ah, pardonnez-moi. Oh, I'm Mr. so Smith. happy to see her. This is heaven. <laughs> Uh, do you do any work in this country, Miss Fiona? No. That makes it four down and six to go, Miss Truman. Um, Comes do around pretty fast, doesn't it? <laughs> Too fast, thank you. Do people come to you for these services? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. You go to them, then. <laughs> Very good, Mr. <Mr>. Allen. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Excellent, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Have you ever performed your services for Arlene? <laughs> no. Small conference. No, I have to say not really, John. I must help. Trains alligators. Trains alligators. Mr. Allen. I think he works for the racetrack down there. Miss Francis. Mr. Buter is a Buter. <laughs> I think uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Buter manufactures surfboards. Wow. Top <laughs> that, Mr. Surf. I think Mr. Buter runs the beach facilities, the Hollywood Beach Hotel now. No, I'm afraid nobody has it. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mr. Buter. At the same time, they get to find out what it is he does. But the panel's got to work. All right, Mr. Buter, you know how we score this? You just say good, loud no's, and I'll flip the cards one right after another. All right, Mr. Buter, is salaried. Let's begin the general questioning with Steve Allen. Not by that time. Oh, <laughs> is there a product connect with your work, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, well, since Arlene has brought it up, is it bigger than a bread box? Yes. <laughs> it is? Yes. Is it uh, much bigger than a bread box? Is it as big, say, as a human being or something of that yes, sort? Yes, it is. Is it uh, big enough for a human being to get into? Yes. No limit to this thing, is <laughs> Is it big enough uh, for, say, uh, Arlene and I to get into it together? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it certainly sounds peculiar. Oh, I don't know. No, not us. <laughs> I mean, the thing itself. Is this the kind of a thing that uh, you would not expect to find in the house? Uh, yes. Just, I thought so, but I was just trying to figure that out. Uh, would you expect to find this at a place like uh, Coney Island or something of that sort? Yes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and a man and a woman can get into this together. <laughs> Is this the kind of a thing that when you're inside, it's a little bit dark in there, perhaps? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it the kind of a thing that a young lady would not want to get in with with a gentleman unless she was quite familiar with him or something like that? Yes. <laughs> Is it considered kind of uh, romantic for a man and a woman to float around? And... <laughs> no. <laughs> One down and nine to go, Miss Francis. No romance. No? No romance at all. You wouldn't consider it romantic, actually. I think, Arlene, to be completely fair, I should state categorically that you would not consider it romantic to get into this with Steve or any other male. Well, you don't know I me, don't John. Know. <laughs> Is this uh, made of wood? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Seth. Well, do I gather correctly, Mr. Buda, if male knock? Uh, I'll have to take a guess. Is that a, is that a male knock? <laughs> No! <laughs> that one down. One down and nine to go, Miss Truman. We've established that this is a lady knocking, is that it? 
Um, uh, not a male, anyway. Are you, are you in the movies? Uh, are you in a picture that is currently on Broadway? <laughs> Wait a minute. I didn't... Okay, yeah. That yeah. three knocks means we're not sure, but it could be. <laughs> oh, we're going to have a code tonight. <laughs> um, so you go ahead. Yeah. What was that, a yes? Well, now three knocks means we're not sure, but it could be. Wait a minute. Are you in television? Are you on a show every morning? That's two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. I tell you what I've been wondering. <laughs> I think Steve knows something. <laughs> <laughs> no bar could be Fred Astaire. Oh, this is not fair. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Gene Krupp is not in town. Is uh, are you an actor? Or, I mean, an actress. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. uh, That's four. <laughs> we, you know, that is an awful echo in here. I don't... Are there two people over there besides John, I mean? I had to hear that. I thought maybe it was trigger stamping or something. Uh, I tell you what, Steve, I think we've been hard enough on you long enough. I'm going to ask our guests now if they will use their voices instead of knocking and making replies. Uh -huh. Don't answer, George. <laughs> Get me, boy. That's Desi and Lucy. I can. <laughs> George and Gracie. George and Gracie. That's right. Words everywhere. Miss Margaret Truman. And across the stage from me, our very distinguished moderator, Mr. Daly. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to What's My Line. We're up to our old tricks again because it's Sunday night and it's time for us to act up. We'll see how well the panel can act up on some challengers who brought some very interesting occupations. We trust the panel has a rough time of it and the challengers a good time of it. We'll also have a famous guest challenger a bit later, but now let's have the experts meet our first challenger whose job has to be spotted. Will you sign in, please, sir? Al Buta. Is that right, sir? Where are you from, Mr. Buta? Uh, Hollywood, Florida. Hollywood, Florida. That's right. Ah, so this is just north or south of Miami? North. North. North yeah. of Miami. Fine. Well, just a little bit north of me. Look at them. <laughs> well, they want to see you and want to know you a little better. So would you go over and let them get a look at you, please? Mr. Buta? I'd like to shake both your hands, Mr. Buta. It was nice, too. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening. All right, Mr. Buda, come over here now, if you will, and sit down next to me. And at this point, you may know this, the uh, panel gets one free guess as to what your line may be. And tonight, we will begin all the free guesses with Miss Margaret Truman. Um, I think he trains alligators. Trains alligators. Mr. Allen. I think he works for the racetrack down there. Miss Francis. Mr. Buta is a Buta. <laughs> I think uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Buta manufactures surfboards. Wow. Top that, Mr. Seth. I think Mr. Buter runs the beach facilities, the Hollywood Beach Hotel, Alley. No, I'm afraid nobody has it. We'll let our viewers have a further look at Mr. Buter. At the same time, they get to find out what it is he does. But the panel's got to work. All right, Mr. Buter, you know how we score this? You just say good, loud no's, and I'll... <laughs> Flip the cards, one right after another. All right, Mr. Buter, is salaried. Let's begin the general questioning with Steve Allen. 
<laughs> Got by that time. Huh? <laughs> is there a product connect with your work, sir? Uh, yes. Uh, well, since Arlene has brought it up, is it bigger than a bread box? Yes. <laughs> it is? Yes. Is it uh, much bigger than a bread box? Is it as big, say, as a human being or something of that yes, sort? Yes, it is. Is it uh, big enough for a human being to get into? Yes. No limit to this thing, is it? <laughs> is it big enough uh, for, say, uh, Arlene and I to get into it together? Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, would you sign in, please, ma'am? Bridget? Frio, is that right? How are you? We'll be the Mazurka later. Oh. Where are you from, Frio? Paris. Is it Miss or Mrs.? Miss. Miss. Mm -hmm. Paris, Kentucky? No, Paris is France, you know. Paris is France. Well, that's fine. Now, at this point, the panel knows where you come from. They would like to have a closer look at you. Would you just walk down in front of the panel? I just want to see if you can do the can-can, Miss Brown. Would you, would you take a little oh, measure? <laughs> All right, Miss Friar, if you come over here now and sit down next to me. At this point, the panel, having had a chance to meet you, gets one free guess as to what your line may be, and we begin the free guesses with Miss Margaret Truman. I think she designs dresses. Designs dresses, Mr. Allen. I think she's a singer. Miss Francis. I think I have to disqualify myself. You know? I think that uh, I know this lady. All right, Miss Francis is disqualified. Mr. Seth. I think she's a professional photographer. A professional photographer. I'm afraid not, but our viewers at home have a further look at Miss Friant. At the same time, we will tell them what her line is. <laughs> All right. be my and now, Miss Friant, every time you give them a no answer, I flip a card here, and uh, we're off and running. Ten flips, and you've won the game. Miss Friant is salaried. With that, let's begin the general questioning with Bennett Sir. Well, Miss Brian, I'm just trying to figure out how you might have met our Arlene here. Would you have anything whatever to do with the entertainment industry? No. One down and nine to go, Miss Truman. Well, is there a product connected with what you do? No. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Allen. Are your services, then, I assume you perform a service, are they available to women? Yes. Uh, does a woman have to have perhaps more money than she might have if she were working in a menial capacity to avail herself of your services? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Enchanté de vous voir. Ah, pardon moi, pardonnez moi. Merci. Oh, I'm Mr. so Smith. happy to see her. This is heaven. Uh, do you do any work in this country, Miss Bianca? No. That makes it four down and six to go, Miss Truman. Um. Comes Do around pretty fast, doesn't it? <laughs> Too fast, thank you. Do people come to you for these services? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Allen. You go to them, then. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Allen. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Excellent, as far as I'm concerned. Have you ever performed your services for Arlene? <laughs> No. Small conference. No, I have to 